Welcome back to Typecast Heroes, where we believe typology can save the world. I'm Amanda Fogelson. And I'm Jesse Miller, and today we are continuing our series on the 16 types. So if you are new to our channel, please go watch all of our videos because they're going to have a lot of background information that you need to fully understand the information we are laying out. So this is going to be covering the cognitive functions of the ISTJ. We do have videos that go into depth of each of the eight cognitive functions, as well as a whole video dedicated to just the cognitive stack, where we cite all of our sources about how we teach the cognitive stack. And we talk to you in depth about Carl Jung psychology. So if you have questions about any of the things that we are doing or explaining, please go watch those videos. This series is about each type and it goes into details about how the type works so that the people who love them can understand them better and society can better utilize them as a whole. The series also serves as a teaser before our podcast launches this summer, which will be a 16 episode podcast dedicated one for each type, talking about um, society as a whole, education, the whole nine. If you don't know what Typecast Heroes is all about, please go back to watch our very first episode, Welcome to Typecast Heroes, where we go in depth about the project that we are in. Just a little clip of that is that we are looking for 100 of each of the 16 personality types. So we need 1,600 people total. And we still need more. So if you're interested, please shoot us a message and we will schedule you an interview. So like I said at the beginning, we are going to be talking about the ISTJs. And the ISTJs are one of the more, the ISTJs make up one of the larger parts of the population. And I feel like they're one of the most undervalued parts of the population. And especially in the MBTI community, y'all are not nice to ISTJs. So true. So I am going to be writing a love letter to the ISTJs because I love you guys and I think you do not get your love enough. Can I just say, if you guys have watched any of our videos, you guys know how lovey-dovey I am. I am so rubbing off on her. It is fantastic. <laughs> so I've had the pleasure of talking to many ISTJs throughout this project and to me, again, like I said, they are often undervalued, but they are also incredibly misunderstood. And if you look on a lot of the websites for Myers-Briggs and all of the resources that are given, the things for ISTJs, there's just not a whole lot there, mm. which is horrible to me because they're, again, such a large part of the population. And when I talk to ISTJs about it, I guess the kind of common thought in Myers-Briggs community is that ISTJs are just not that interested in self-development. Well, I'm telling you guys right now, if you love an ISTJ, it's just not true. They are interested in self-development. They are introspective. They are interested in learning. They are not any of the stereotypes that I see thrown about in the Myers-Briggs community. And it would be really nice if intuitives could get it together and show the ISTJs some love, please, because they are not just servants or automatons. They are actual people mm -hmm. who have like these great gifts to bring so knock it off i usually do my role of society at the end but i've got a lot to say about ISTJs. so as we talked about in the what is your cognitive stack each position of the cognitive functions has a specific part that it plays in your mind and this part has certain patterns or tendencies that show up in behavior so for the istj their hero is introverted sensing and introverted sensing gets a lot of bad reputation, a lot of misconceptions that we did a lot of undoing mm -hmm. in the introverted sensing video. So please go watch that video if you haven't already. But introverted sensing, again, it is a capture system of every experience that you personally have gone through and your mind remembers it. So when you go through something similar, it pulls from that bank or that cache of experience and it compares it to whatever it's going through now. As an ISTJ gets older, because their introverted sensing is so strong and it has so much to pull from, it almost acts like intuition. In fact, mm -hmm. I've had some trouble with some interviews for ISTJs who are in their 50s, 40s, and 50s. Sometimes it looks like introverted intuition because they're talking to me about all the patterns that they see, and I have to really look at their answers to be able to see that it's introverted sensing. But they've got such a crazy amount of experience that they have so many lessons and patterns and they're able to predict the future a little bit because they've lived with all of this in their head mm -hmm. for so long. And that's amazing, it's like a crazy superpower. 
And it's actually based in reality, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's not just like future basing or like making predictions mm -hmm. on You'd be able to like crazy walk things. through it a little bit more too. Whereas introverted intuition is just kind of that like all of a sudden there's your answer or mm -hmm. there's your reasoning, you know, and there's not like a step by step. SI is not like that. Even when you get older, you could still recall why you would see a pattern in something if you were pushed to mm -hmm. need to find a reason. Right. And it's absolutely amazing. So it's cool. astounding. Unfortunately, though, sometimes that comes with the thing of, oh, man, I remember that awkward thing I did this time. And so for introverted sensors, for ISTJ, sometimes they can have this bad memory type of deal where they'll have the memory from a bad experience overlaid on whatever they're currently experiencing and it can make it very difficult to go through that again mm -hmm. so you have to remember both of those things if you are an ISTJ you have to know that a new experience can be something new and you don't have to have a bad thing just because it was bad last time a restaurant that you're going to if it was really horrible the last time it can be new this time mm -hmm. like just give it a shot but don't downplay how important your introverted sensing is for all of the other gifts that it can do, for all of the lessons that you can teach, for all of the predictions that you can make about the future based on what you've been through, you have a lot to give because of your introverted sensing. And also because introverted sensing is so unique to the person, this also makes introverted sensors and ISTJs fiercely independent. They like to do what they wanna do, what they know works for them, because again, introverted sensing is very unique to the individual. It's whatever they've gone through throughout their life. So everybody's life is different. Everybody experiences different things. So when they pull from their cash, it's going to be very unique. Mm -hmm. And it offers them their own perspective. So they're going to be looking very different from each other, which again was mentioned in the introverted sensing video. But that is how their hero typically functions. Because introverted sensing is so introverted, everybody has a second function, which is in their parent or mother, father, or auxiliary position. And this one is to make you a balanced person. So an ISTJ has extroverted thinking in that position. Extroverted thinking is very focused on ensuring that the data and logical systems that are in front of the person are very efficient, that they're effective, and that they make sense. So an ISTJ is very methodical, they're very careful, and they are very meticulous in what they do in their actions. They like everything around them to just work. And one of the things that I hear from ISTJs over and over again is, it's not broken, don't fix, don't fix it. it. They want it to just exist as it is because that's more efficient, right? Mm -hmm. Like why reinvent the wheel if it's working just fine as is? We don't need a shiny new wheel if the wheel that we have is just fine. Sometimes that comes with the stereotype of being boring or being stuck in a routine mm -hmm. but it isn't that there is a va there is value in knowing what works for you and knowing what works in general because you're saving time you're not wasting time on 10,000 things that won't work because you already know so very well what will so ISTJs are a bridge type because they have extroverted thinking as their second function and then they have introverted feeling as their third no introverted feeling this is where we place all of our values and all of our judgments and all of our moral systems. It's all of the things that cause emotions. Because it is their third function and extroverted thinking is their second, that means that these two things are constantly fighting when the ISCJ is making decisions. Now, as they age, they learn how to differentiate between them a little bit better. But the extroverted thinking, because it's an extroverted fun function and, and ISCJ is introverted, that means that it's almost like a compulsion. Like it's kind of yanking the ISTJ to be efficient. Like, oh, no, no, this is not efficient. This is not effective. Let's be effective. Let's be efficient. But the introverted feeling is an introverted function. But it's in the third one. So that means it's a child. A child. It's kind of bratty. It's kind of immature. It's mm -hmm. It can be kind of playful as well. But particularly in ISTJ men who feel like emotions are something that they shouldn't give into, they tend to lean into their extroverted thinking a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And so their child function is kind of like squished a little bit because they have this feeling of, again, this is a tendency. Mm -hmm. Not all ISTJs men are like this, but they have this kind of thought that men are not supposed to have emotions. So they kind of try to squish their introverted feeling down and lean into their extroverted thinking. And I've seen the opposite in ISTJ women because ISTJ women are supposed to have emotions. And so they kind of ignore their extroverted thinking and they kind of really lean into their introverted feeling. And you need both of these things to be a balanced human. 
So this fighting between the two can make the ISTJ feel very unbalanced, which Mm -hmm. is very sad because introverted feeling, when it's in that child function, can give an ISTJ a lot of moral values. It can make them very sure of what they believe in. It can make them very assertive in their moral compass. And then they bring that forth through their extroverted thinking and they run it through the lens of what they're experienced to make them very strong advocates, to make them very strong leaders, to make them very understanding and compassionate. But it takes all three of those functions to get that ISTJ there. So you have to lean into all of those if you are an ISTJ. So then in the fourth function, they have extroverted intuition in the inferior position. So the inferior position, like we said, in what is the cognitive stack, that's the one that we feel kind of self-conscious about, we feel kind of defensive about. So ISTJs tell me a lot, and I see it in the groups, and I'm a part of an ISTJ group on Facebook, where they're told that they're boring, that they like to do the same thing over and over again, and that is really annoying for ISTJs, and I believe it's inaccurate. So extroverted intuition is where you can get them to be kind of funny. They can have like these really funny random moments. They can have like these random jokes. They have to be able to establish new goals because nobody, not even ISTJs, wants to do the same thing day after day after day after day because of that extroverted intuition inferior. They are going to want new goals, new things to work on, new thing, new projects. Everybody does. So this idea that introverted sensing just wants to sit there and do the same thing and they just want to work on the computer and churn out numbers all day <laughs> It's just nonsense. It is straight up nonsense, and it's just not true. I talk to them every day. You probably talk to them every day, and you probably have in your mind ISTJ, a completely bad picture of what an ISTJ is. It's just in, just not true. Unfair. Get it together, intuitives. So, again, the ISTJ can have these moments of these crazy little ideas or these crazy little possibilities or these fantasies or they'll want to take a day trip all of a sudden. They'll do the same thing for six months in a row, and then they'll want to go do something completely totally out of out of the ordinary. But guess what? They don't live in crazy land. They'll go do their crazy adventure and then they come back and keep existing and adulting like a regular person. That must be so nice. That's so valuable. That's so nice. ISTJs, you're amazing. And I yes. love you guys. Come run my life. Oh my God. <laughs> come teach me how to adult. I'm seriously. <laughs> teach me how to be better, please. How do I do things on time? <laughs> what is time? <laughs> Can you come teach me Tell what me time is? Time. <laughs> teach me how to make a to-do list. <laughs> yeah. And then actually get through the to-do list. I know. Like, oh my God. And teach me how to have fun in moderation. Yeah. Like, it's okay yeah. to have a new goal like, and that's let it. Let me have a fun day and then like come back. Like, What is that like? Oh you guys are amazing and I love you. And then like just being good with yourself and your life and like yes so we had this aha today man and i were talking about introverted sensing um, and we we're actually talking about it in the inferior function and introverted sensing when you are trying to aspire to it that just means that you are good with what you have what is that like literally don't know because it is my inferior function and it's her very very bottom oh, function demon. yeah so we don't know what it's like, but it sounds magical. It sounds more magical than NI does. Yes, it does. That sounds straight up magic to me. Yeah. So we're not saying that all ISTJs are happy with their life. I'm mm-hmm. sure many of you have areas of your life that you want to be improved. But right. what we are talking about is knowing yourself enough mm-hmm. to know what you want, to know what doesn't work for you, to have a sure idea of your identity, which is what ISTJs have. Mm-hmm. They know who they are for the most part. I mean, again, everybody has questions. Tendencies. Everybody's got questions. Mm -hmm. Everybody goes through identity crisis. But you know what you've experienced. You know who made you. Mm -hmm. You know what made you. You know what works and what doesn't. And just kind of mind-blowing. You don't question reality. Like, what? Right. What is that like? Right. It sounds magical. It really does. So ISTJs, if you've ever felt like people don't value you or think that you're something special or anything like that, just know that you've got two huge fans right here. Mm Mm-hmm. Because ISTJs all day long, man. And also, when I listen to other people or read about ISTJs, I read a lot of pandering, like how you're the backbone of society and how Mm -hmm. you maintain all of our traditions and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, you do that. But also, like, 
you function. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. And I know that you guys have issues too, just like everybody else. I mean, you can have mental health issues too. I'm just saying that your what you bring to the table with your cognitive stack is a gift mm-hmm. and that should not be delineated to this area of, oh yeah, y'all keep up the traditions. We're going to be over here making new stuff. Yeah. No, you guys make new things also and you do it better because you've been doing the same. You run it through the lens. You already know what doesn't work because you remember. You already know what's going to be efficient because you have a better memory. Yeah. So that is your role in society. You can be super innovative. And it's going to work better than when one of us does it (laughs) because you know it better. So you have unique gifts to bring. So own your introverted sensing, own your extroverted thinking, and then make sure that it runs, it checks out with your value system of Mm -hmm. introverted feeling because you are so important. So important. And you do so much for us. So we're killing the stereotypes right now. Yep. ISTJs, you are not boring. Nope. You are not just stuck in some comfort zone. Mm-mm. You are not the people who are robotic and you don't have feelings. Like you are super awesome. So much more than that. So amazing. And again, like I said at the beginning, this was going to be a little love letter to you because I'm super fascinated with just how you function, just how, yeah, it's truly how you function. And again, I've just been really humbled um, when I started this project. Just, I was told by many people in the Myers-Briggs community, ISTJs aren't gonna wanna talk to you. ISTJs are too busy. And whenever I post an ISTJ group, the love that I get is just, y'all answer the questions, you answer them honestly and quickly, and then I get them back within like a couple hours and it's just like, It's like you guys are solid people. I know. You're just solid people. I don't know a better way to describe it. Mm -mm. I just love it so much. You know, and I value you a lot. So role of society. So that's your role in society. So role of society, stop making them feel bad. Stop making them feel bad because they can do what you can't, which is good at adulting, Mm -hmm. good at existing, good at meeting deadlines, good at functioning. And when they come up with a good idea, then you know that it's going to become, it's going to go through all of those filter systems. And so it's probably going to be better than your idea. So let them have it. They're not going to, they may not have 12 million ideas, but their one good idea is going to be better than all of yours. No offense. Sorry. So just again, that is their role in society. Like I said before that, but they also have a tendency to finish what they start. Mm-hmm. So their role in society is to be the ones to finish all of the things because you know the rest of us aren't gonna. And they can be musicians and artists. Mm-hmm. Um, there's this beautiful ISTJ woman that I speak to who's a singer. They can be all of these things. So don't put them in a box. Let them be themselves because they've got a lot to share. They're great storytellers. They're great. They're just great. ISTJs, we love you. We do love you. And because we love you, we do want to offer a little bit of personal growth advice. Um, So, speaking of your FI child, sometimes we see that ISTJs can have a tendency to maybe put their foot down on certain things that, that they want. So FI is values, morals, all of that which could also look like things that you want, right? Mm. And that could be tangible, that could be ideas and concepts, whatever it is, depends on who you are. In this situation though, you have sometimes, again, the child can be a very bratty function to deal with, ours are, Mm -hmm. and when that happens, you may, like I said, kind of put your foot down and say, you know what, nope, I want this. And even though everyone around you doesn't, you could care less. You're just Mm -hmm. gonna plow through and just do it anyways, because that's what you wanna do. So a little bit of personal growth, just be conscious of that. Another little tidbit on a more positive note, you guys have an E in your inferior function. And that is the function that wants to explore and it wants to imagine and create. And so really tap into that. And organically, we tend to see that people start tapping into their inferior function later in life anyways Mm -hmm. as they age. But if you're younger and you're watching this video right now, then know that that's a possibility for you and you could start even sooner. You don't have to wait until you're 40 and ready to go travel for a day or 
whatever it may be. So lean into that and just have confidence in yourself that you can go and have this crazy fun time and then you can still come back an adult and get it done that nobody else seems to be able to. Okay. We, we hope you like this video because being human is hard and this should make it just a little bit easier. Thank you for watching. Please share this video. Um, if you are an ISTJ, come interview because mm -hmm. we need more. And then um, if you already interviewed and you are an ISTJ, yep. go get all of your family to interview and share, 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 share. Yes. Share this. We need more of every type. So even if you did interview, no matter what your friends and family are, send them our way. We appreciate it. And we love you guys. Bye. Bye. Let's gather around the type fire and sing our type fire song. Our M-B-T-I-T-Y-P-O-L-O-G-Y song. And if you feel uncomfortable, then know there's nothing wrong.